Hi everyone, I have the TV on in the background, um, so I can still mind that. Um, sorry for my appearance, I this week have been extremely tired. All I want to do is sleep and do laundry. Which is really odd because I don't like doing laundry, but I think the nesting's starting. I'm not real sure, but I just feel really bad to do laundry. There's a few major things I want to bring up this week. One, I was asked some time ago, um, some people remember from the weight loss surgery community that I did get RNY gastric bypass dumping. If you want to know what dumping is, just Google weight loss surgery or Runa Y gastric bypass slash dumping and it will explain to you what it is. Can you get dumping after pregnancy? I can only speak for myself. Absolutely yes. Just because you're pregnant doesn't mean you're immune to being able to eat fat and sugar. I had two small bites of pecan pie with absolutely nothing in my stomach and when I say two bites that's all I took and by the time I swallowed the second bite I could feel my heart start racing I started sweating started getting mentally confused started getting very nauseated I was shaking really bad got extremely tired felt like I was just gonna throw up felt like I was gonna die and that's dumping for me and so now, being over two years out, I have noticed that I, by the way, I am 25 months out now. Um, the 23rd of November was 25 months. Um, lost my train of thought. The 20, being 25 months out, I have tested the water. Let's be honest. Nobody is perfect, and that is including myself. I am far from perfect um, but I notice that if I have something in my pouch have something in my stomach and I have a little bit of sugar real sugar or if I have a little something that has a little extra fat in it I don't get sick but now mind you if I try two bites of pecan pie or two bites of something that has a real high fat in it by itself I'll dump and so it is not a fun feeling it is definitely not a good feeling to have while you're pregnant because the stage of pregnancy I am in now, the baby can hear and feel your heartbeat and my heartbeat goes a million miles an hour um, when I dump and I literally can feel it. My husband can feel, it feels like it's beating on the outside of my chest. Um, so that was the one thing I wanted to say. The second thing I want to say, I want to talk about being scared, having some anxiety and pregnancy dreams. I am, so, I don't seem like it because I'm so tired, but I'm really excited for Friday. But the closer we get, I'm very nervous. The reason I'm nervous is because it's the anatomy ultrasound where they check lungs, heart, brain, liver, kidneys, bowels, you know, the anatomy. They check everything to make sure it is where it should be. You know, all ten fingers are where they should be, all ten toes, nose, ears, mouth, eyes. Everything is where it needs to be. And my friend Rebecca wrote a message on Facebook that said, let God take care of the baby or God is taking care of your baby why it's inside of you to prepare you to be able to take care of your baby when he or she is here in the present meaning I don't know exactly how she said it but on the outside of you you know so you're able to take care of it um, God knows best um, whatever happens happens it doesn't change the fact that I have, you know, some anxieties about Friday. Every mother, every father, every parent just wants to make sure their child is healthy. 
Um, what else was I going to say? Brain dead. Um, I'm feeling the baby a lot more. I'm feeling stretching. I'm stretching pains. Um, I'm not sure if I told anyone, but I passed out in Walmart. And I'm doing better with fluids since then. Please, everyone, if you're a weight loss surgery patient, or if you're not, if you're a pregnancy patient, if you're just an everyday person, a human, get your fluids in. Especially if you're pregnant or you have had some type of surgery, whether it be weight loss surgery or not, or if you're an athlete, get your fluids in. It's important. Use me and others like me as an example that protein and fluids play a major key part in our lifestyles now, especially when you're carrying someone, you know, a baby, you're not only responsible for yourself, you're responsible for that life and inside you. So, um, I keep promising people the video on the baby moon. Alan laid down the flip video camera somewhere and he promised me in the morning when he gets home from work, he will find it so I can upload that for you. Um, it shows quite a few belly shots in there. Alan had the flip video camera more than I did, so he got a lot of pictures of me full body length, which is fine. I, you know, I put weight on my lowest weight. My highest all-time weight was 442 pounds, and when I got pregnant, I was 192 point something and I am very close to being back up to 200 pounds. I am fine with that. Um, I'm like four ounces. I'm 199.6 pounds today. Um, four ounces away from being 200 pounds. I am a few days away from being 20 weeks and I'm fine with being five months pregnant and gaining that amount of weight. It's not a lot, but when you've lost the amount of weight I have and you start seeing it creep back up, I keep putting it in my mind, I'm carrying a baby, I'm pregnant, I'm carrying a baby, I'm pregnant, I'm doing everything okay, I'm pregnant. <laughs> my doctors don't seem concerned about my weight thus far, so I'm gonna be okay with it. Um, my husband tells me to quit worrying about it. I've never worried about my weight, ever. Even when I was real heavy, more than I have currently present the last two years. So, um, so Friday at 12 p.m. Mountain Time, we find out what the baby is. Yes, we will be taking the flip video camera. We have a girl's name picked out, and we're pretty sure we have a boy's name picked out. Um, if something comes up super special more than the boy's name we have now then fantastic but the girl's name is set in stone I mean it's not budging it doesn't matter if you know a name comes up and we're thrilled with it. we love this name so it'd be very hard for us to change our mind when Alan and I agree 100% on this name so, um, Anyways, I'm at nine minutes. I will let you all go, and I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. Spencer wanted me to say hi to Tanya and Rob and their kids. And Shannon, thank you for all your text, texts, and um, I wanted to say hi to Sarah Jane and Lizette. And I miss you all, and um, thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.